Well, Baylor has just one football game left in the 2020 season and winning two straight is no longer an option after a 13 point loss at Oklahoma on Saturday. Nikki Latarulo explains why Dave Aranda is disappointed with his offense coming out of Norman. Well, the Baylor defense had an outstanding performance on Saturday, one that included four sacks and holding OU to its lowest yardage in five years. But Baylor's offense just fell completely short, finishing the night with just 25 total rushing yards. The injury riddled squad is now layers deep into its depth chart when it comes to running backs. Star players John Lovett, Tristan Ebner, Squirrel Williams and Quaylen Jones are out with injuries. And while head coach Dave Aranda says Jones looks promising to return. He says it's more than just a next man up mentality at this point. He said he feels his guys never quit, but he's disappointed with the offense's performance in Norman. I thought you know, it was disappointing uh, our inability to run the ball. I thought protection wise, there were some positives. Um, there is a few times we were late on guys or guys were taking the, ca the cadence and, and hitting it right and running the ball. I would have said prior to this that there was some improvement. I felt like we took a step back. And Aranda said OSU is very physical and Saturday's game will be a challenge. This game is rescheduled from October 17th and kickoff is set here at McLean Stadium at 6 p.m. With the Bears in Waco, Nikki Latarulo, 6 Sports. Baylor's men's basketball game against Nichols State scheduled for tomorrow night has been canceled, the team announced today, due to COVID-19 issues at Nichols. Baylor will now play a home game Wednesday night against an opponent to be announced. Well, the Dallas Cowboys have yet to play their Week 13 game in the NFL season after the league postponed it due to COVID-19 issues in the Baltimore locker room. As of now, though, it is all systems go Tuesday night. The Ravens, although coming off a loss at undefeated Pittsburgh last week, are still a very good team, especially on defense. Andy Dalton says the Cowboys know what the key is to get a much needed win on the road tomorrow night. But now it's down to execution. They keep having positive plays. You know, they've been uh, really good on third down and um, you know, they've got a good rush, good, good scheme uh, with all the uh, pressures that, the, that they bring. So. You know, for you guys, stay ahead of the chains. The boys are still scheduled to face Baltimore on the road tomorrow night. That kick still scheduled for 7 p.m. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.